Matt Lachlan back at Prudential Center after two periods of play. Buffalo with a 1-0 lead. Ryan O'Reilly, a power play goal at 14-12 of the second, giving the visitors the edge after 40 minutes of play. Devils being outshot 14-11. They'll be the tail end of a Devils power play to begin the third. And we are pre, uh, pleased to welcome Lou Mangeluso to the broadcast booth. And we mentioned as we ended the second period that Lou is here uh, not to talk about the Ottawa Senators. Lou, you're nope. an amateur scout for the Senators. Uh, Lou, you're talking about a, a project that's near and dear to your heart that will take place early in June just down the road here in Red Bank. First off, welcome. Secondly, tell us a little bit about the Liberty Bell. Well, thanks for having me. It's uh I see so many people I know up here and worked for Marshall Johnston at one time in Ottawa and see John McLean and some of the other guys, obviously. Um, the Liberty Bell Games, it's in its eighth season, and obviously it's going to be at Red Bank at the Armory this year. Um, we started it back in 2009 uh, in Hatfield, and it, it moved to a couple different places. Um, it's a 15- to 17-year-old age group. It's a top prospect age group. Um, it started out as an Atlantic District event. But as we got through a few years, we found out that the kids from New York City, Metro, Metro D.C., Long Island, who play against the same kids in the district during the winter, wanted to be involved. So last year we went from five teams and 90 players to six teams and 108 players. So as things have expanded and the interest in the sport has grown, the New Jersey Devils, one of the co-sponsors of this event, uh, it'll be held at the Red Bank Armory, which is one of the Devils' 35 partner rinks throughout New Jersey. The Devils continue to expand their footprint in terms of their community support. You say showcase. We're, you mentioned where these players are coming from. How high-end are we talking about? I think uh, uh, we have three age groups. So uh, we always are concerned that the 15-year-old, those kids go through a growth spurt. So we probably have somewhere between 20 to 25 15-year-olds we have to first look out for the child. That's the most important thing. Um, we had some high-end kids last year that were born in 2000. Obviously, former coach Pete DeBoer's son, Shell Samuelson, played for the Flyers, his son. So we know there's a lot of good 15-year-olds. It might be 5'2", 5'3", 130 pound, and we just have to maybe wait on a year. Um, but it's pretty high-end. We had, um, we've had 100 kids go to college or commit to go to college. We've had 10 kids drafted to the National Hockey League. Johnny Goudreau being probably one of more your more famous players. I think we have about four or five young men playing in the American League right now. So that's pretty much the gist of it. It's pretty it's top top line. There's top. no question. Uh, you're talking about the elite of the elite. I mean, I know that Pete's son uh, Jack is a terrific young player. So if you're talking about that caliber of player and a Johnny Goudreau, I don't think you have to go in any farther in in discussing uh, how high end this is now. The, this is for players. If people come out to watch some of the competition, obviously they'll see terrific young players. But there are others who are looking because this is for what, for placement for college, prep schools too? Yeah, well, it, it's, it's, it's a great point, and that, I'm glad you brought it up. We had to find a way to make it applicable for the 15-year-old player to play against a 17-year-old player. So that's why we can't have 50, 50, 50 15-year-olds. You know, so that's a concern. So we've made it so it's applicable for a 15-year-old kid to play against a 17-year-old kid. And we also had to keep in mind we had to make it applicable for who the audience is. So prep school to college, junior, the National Hockey League. So when these people come to watch, prep school can recruit a kid actively, a college can get a commitment in a year, and we have some future NHL players that the pros write maybe a dozen or two reports up on. So we, those were two most important things, the app, applicable for the age group, to perform together because they all play together and and the scouting and watching the guys play for future college or junior or someday the NHL. If someone is listening and says, I want to go see some of these kids, how do they get some more information? You know, they can they can go to Liberty Bell Dame, LibertyBellGames.com. Um, it's like you said, June 3rd, 4th, and 5th. It starts Friday night on June 3rd. Um, the, uh, the event is free. Um, but I have to say, and as we look back on this last year, we had about 60 scouts and coaches attend our event. This is not a one-man show by any means. Bill Underwood, who worked in Quebec and now works in Kitchener, is our chief scout. We have a little bird dog staff that goes and sees every kid. I certainly can't do it all. Um, I have great event director, Ann Yanarellis, is my right arm. So it's really a, 
it's really a, it's really a, it's really a, t- a team effort and in, in the gist of it looking at the whole big picture we need support we're sanctioned by USA Hockey and without people like the Devils who understand the community and the relations and the grassroots and people like Wendy's that understand education and so forth like they both do without them we got nothing well, Lou, we appreciate your time. We wish you the very best of luck with the event. Again, coming up uh, June 3rd, 4th, and 5th at the Red Bank Armory. You're going to see some exciting young talent if you go there. But it's not just about that. As you mentioned, there's an educational component to it in terms of some colleges looking at some players that may suit up in college at some point for them. Anytime you can see the best of the best get together, it's always exciting. That was fantastic. And we know this area, and as you mentioned, it's not just New Jersey. Yep. It, it, there's a lot of great kids that are playing uh, hockey in the Northeast. No and we question. see it in the NHL. Not and we got, we, Gidrow, I think we're going to have a good 40 to 45 kids from just southern Jersey, north Jersey. It's it's fantastic. His area has grown. And it's overwhelming. Lou Mangialuso has been our guest during the second intermission. Again, the best of luck, Lou. Lou Thank you, Liberty man. Bell Games. Dot com for more information June 3rd, 4th, and 5th at the Red Bank Armory. Is your kid a little devil? Register your young fan for the Little Devils today. They'll receive a membership kit and great benefits. There are two membership levels to choose from. Free rookie membership and all-star membership. For more information and to sign up, visit NewJerseyDevils.com slash Little Devil. Short timeout. We'll come back with the start of the third right after this. The Devils trail one nothing after 2. You're listening to Devils Hockey on the fan. Sports Radio 66 and 1019 FM. WF.